and so beautiful just sitting down here on my own nice and peaceful g'day guys uh, another good video coming up hopefully hopefully you enjoy it uh, gonna run through uh, some of the changes that I've made to the back of my car and um, on top of the car as well uh, just in preparation for a trip to Melbourne and back so I'm gonna be taking the next five weeks off of work um, yeah obviously Perth to Melbourne then back to Perth and um, yeah free camping across the country uh, not taking the caravan so that should be interesting uh, so I'm leaving at the end of April and I'll uh, be back early June so right smack bang in the middle of winter uh, but we'll see how we go uh, I'll be in the swag like I said and um, yeah it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an adventure guys I'm hoping uh, to be able to make a series out of this trip so maybe six or seven videos I'm hoping I don't know yet but we'll see anyway guys we'll get uh, we'll get cracking uh, go and check out the ute now. so here we are driver's seat um, um, got a few things going on here that's a reverse camera for the caravan so that'll be coming down when I go on my trip um, got the tablet here this uh, does all my diagnostics and stuff for my engine so basically an OBD2 uh, reader and um, yeah she's yeah she works really well so it um, gives you all the stuff that you need all your uh, temps and pressures and whatever uh, hopefully help me not break down and uh, right here we just got the old HEMA HX2 uh, not a bad little unit but um, yeah word of advice with them one update it straight away don't bugger around with it um, they're pieces of shit straight out of the box but uh, once you update them and get all the latest software and whatever going on it it's uh, it's really good anyway we'll, uh, we'll hop into the back so um, yeah quick rundown of what's in the back here and we'll open this up and um, yeah, full of tools, uh, drill, socket set, um, spanners, screwdrivers, you name it, all the stuff that you need. Battery testing equipment. Um, I'm gonna have a scan tool in there as well, even though I've got one already hooked up. It's uh, not the best, it's from eBay. So everything's in there. Please don't come and steal it. This cord. Um, so this is like a, uh, just a bit of an extension so I can run solar blankets and um, boost up my charging capacity so I've got another 560 watts of uh, solar blanket so they put out about 50% so what's that? that's about another 250 watts of solar that can go into the system when I'm parked up uh, yeah um, what have we got here we got the 120 amp hour uh, lithium battery in the battery box uh, everything's all um, pretty well hooked up in there it looks like a bit of a complicated mess but it all works. Uh, I've got the light. So I won't turn that on. I've just got like a, you know, sticky on bloody roof light because this thing stopped working and I haven't uh, sourced a replacement for it yet. What else? Electronics. So we've got uh, the King's 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Works really well. Powers everything in my caravan. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's more than what I need really. The only thing I can't run off of that is a kettle. So, um, yeah. In here we have so just got two ammo boxes these are just from um, super cheap auto they're about 25 30 bucks each just got all my cooking stuff for my um, for my little gas stove that I bought the other day which um, it's all hidden away down here underneath all this crap so in here what have I got in here I've got um, jumper cables fuel additives cooking spray I don't know why that's there uh, engine oil and this little box down here come around this side this little box down here that's my stove so we'll um we'll get that out afterwards and have a look but um yeah here we go guys we've got the um 12 volt oven she's a bit dirty been using it a bit this camp so need to clean but it works really well uh, anyone that's interested they draw about 12 to 15 amps when they're running uh, and they work really well, gets up to 180 degrees, not, not the problem. Takes a little bit. Got the drawer, so just keep all the basic stuff in here, air compressor, um, you know, that should be in the other box, but whatever. Um, tools, all that sort of stuff, stuff for the caravan, tow ball lock, piece of uh, electrical equipment. 
and um, yeah, so I've got to wear through that and restock it ready for the trip. Um, 12 volt fridge, uh, fridge freezer, 80 litre combo. Um, yeah, from can't remember where I got it from, Anaconda, I would like to say. Uh, works really well, hasn't let me down, had it for about a year and a half. And um, yeah, we'll have a look in the back here. Just another spare water container, I think that's 25 litres of water possibly. Can't remember exactly how much. Uh, in that blue box down there we've got all the Victron gear. So solar controller, DC DC charger, um, and the shunt, the 500 amp shunt. So that gives full readout of everything. Um, this spot down here, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to have um, a jerry can holder just to stick uh, 20 litres of fuel in there, just for a bit of a backup, just in case. Anyway, guys, we'll get get around to the outside of the vehicle now, and uh, the King's um, shower. Yep, works really good. Um, solar panels, I've got 160 watts of solar on there. Um, that has been on there for about five years. Hasn't let me down yet. I don't want to jinx myself. And then, yeah, just the XTM awning. Uh, 2.5 by 2.5. So I am thinking about um, putting another one on the back here as well to make it a bigger shade. Um, push this one forward a little bit on the car and then have this one a little bit back, but um, Yeah, not too sure yet. So anyway guys, that's um, that's my basic setup Obviously, you're gonna have my swag and a bit of camping gear in there as well when I leave But um, yeah, you get the idea. They're the basics that you need. Uh, also got the first aid kit So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll um, yeah, we'll crack on with the actual trip Thanks for watching guys